Howdy folks. Today I got two ryes I'm gonna compare for you. And I think these two ryes could not be more different. Rye one is Balconis Texas rye. Comes in at 100 proof. And it is 100% rye whiskey and is aged in Texas. Rye 2 is from Freeland Spirits right here in Portland, Oregon. It is not distilled in Portland, however. It was distilled in Indiana, but they did finish it in Pinot Noir barrels from right here in Oregon. It comes in at 56% alcohol, that's 112 proof, and it is three to five years old. We're gonna try this Balconis. Uh, now reading the back of the bottle uh, says it's 15 months in oak, but that's 15 months in Texas, which as you know, if you're from Texas or you've ever heard of Texas, is hot, okay? It's hot in Texas. Um, so uh, from my experience with other Balconis products, they're really dark, they're really, um, they, they just get a lot of wood, you know? And that's just sort of the style they've adopted there. They're leaning into it there, you know, in uh, in Texas in, at Balconis. I've tried this before. I've had this bottle for a while, but I, I couldn't quite get my head around it. Uh, I tried to make a Manhattan with it, and it just, it did not work out. It, it was not a good Manhattan. It was, it was too much, okay? Um, but I thought it'd be fun to compare it with a, with a rye that was completely different. So let's give this a sniff. Yeah, okay, so you get a lot of sort of green notes. I don't know how else to describe it. A certain mustiness that uh, is always comes through to me. Typically with rye, you think of it as being sort of a, a spicy thing. I don't really get a lot of spice, but you do get a lot of wood notes and a lot of that, a lot of, I guess that's musty wood notes. Yeah, it's a little bit hot. Mm. It is spicy and it does, Sort of the mid palate is this sort of sharp, um, the woody mustiness again. Um, it's not sweet. Uh, it's got a lingering sort of spicy rye flavor. Um, but I'm going to say it's a lot of wood. Like you really taste a lot of wood on there. It has a dark flavor, sort of a lot of dark, dark notes. Uh, you know, that sort of leather flavor that you're that you hear about sometimes. Very woody. Um, I mean, I like it. it. It is a very strong flavor, and um, like I said before, it, I tried to do a Manhattan with it, and it, it wasn't. I, I didn't. I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> um, so not not maybe not a great mixer, but probably would make a pretty reasonable old fashioned. We're gonna move on to Freeland Spirits uh, Straight Rye Whiskey. Now this is a. Uh, distillery in Portland, owned by women, run by women. It's, it's very, they're very pro woman. Their bottle is beautiful, it's sort of teardrop shaped bottle. It's got an embossed sort of woman holding a sheaf of wheat or something on the on the front. It's very cool. Um, like I said, they imported this uh, rye because they wanted to get rye in their portfolio. Uh, they finished it in Pinot Noir barrels from local wineries around here. Uh, it's a three to five year old rye, um, and they are, uh, they've been distilling rye, but they've only been open, I think it's three years, and the rye is not ready yet, probably be a couple more years. Like, this is 56%, which is higher than the, higher than the Balconis, but you don't get as much alcohol on the nose. Mm, it's a lot more subtle on the nose, you don't really get a lot of those woody notes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot much more traditional rye, a lot much less wood, but you do get a nice sweetness from the Pinot Noir barrels. This is really good, actually. It's complex, you know. It, it keeps giving. Um, it isn't quite as the, I find the Balconis to be a little bit harsh, and this Freeland rye to be much more uh, sort of mature, I guess, uh, much more sort of mellowed out and sort of blended. Stuff goes down pretty easy. Now I made a, uh, and now I got this over Thanksgiving, and I did make a quick Manhattan with it at one point, uh, which you know worked out pretty good. I think this stuff mixes pretty well. 112 proof, pretty high, um, so be careful. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, 
I really enjoy this. These are two, com they're, they're like completely different ryes. I, I can't imagine two ryes being more different if you want to get the sort of wide range of what rye can be. Um, Texas rye, very, very woody and young. And then uh, Freeland rye from Indiana, aged, much older, aged and higher proof, but much more mellow, much more, uh, uh, much more sort of nuanced, I guess is what you might say. All right, uh, that was just a fun rye tasting I wanted to do. Uh, thanks for watching. If you got anything you want me to try, put it down in the comments. Um, otherwise, we'll see you next time.